Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, not even collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we got you. Pretty good little jump. This is Houston, F2, 1160th second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. Okay. Um, uh, at the foot of the ladder, the lamb foot beds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. Now I'm going to step off the lamb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's the uh, surface is fine and powdery. I can I can pick it up loosely with my toe. It does adhere to in fine layers, uh, like uh, powdered charcoal, to the uh, to the sole and sides of my boot. I only go in a uh, small fraction of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads and the fine sandy particles. Hey, hello, this is Houston. We're copying. Um, there seems to be no difficulty in moving around as, as we suspected. Uh, it's even perhaps easier than the simulations of 16G that uh, we performed uh, in various simulations on the ground. Absolutely no trouble to uh, walk around. Okay, the uh, ESAN engine did not leave a crater of any size. It's uh, has about one foot clearance on the ground. We're uh, essentially on a very level place here. Uh, I can see uh, some evidence of, uh, of rays emanating from the descent engine, but uh, very insignificant amount. Neil, uh, 
Mr. Houston, we're getting a picture. You're not in at the present time. We can see the bag on the LEC being moved by Buzz, though. Here you come into our field of view. Oh, okay. Let me move that over to you guys. Edge for you. Okay, you ready for me to come out? Yeah, just stand by a second. I'll move this over the handrail. Backup cameras. Uh, okay, your press is, looks like it's clear and okay. The toes are about to come over the seal. Okay, now drop your press down. There you go, you're clear. And laterally, you're good. Got an inch clearance on top of your press. Okay, you need a little bit of uh, arching of the back to come down. How far are my feet from here? Okay, you're right at the edge of the porch. Okay. Back in from... Small little uh, foot movement. Porch. Arching of the back. Moment comes up and clears the... Uh, Okay, without any trouble at all. That's good. Forty-five minutes PLSS time expended. Neil, this is Houston. Based on your camera transfer with the LEC, do you foresee any difficulties in SRC transfer over? Negative. That's the sample return containers, the rock boxes that Capcom... Now I want to uh, back up and partially close the hatch. Magnificent flight out here. 
Both PLSS is nominal on consumables. This might be a secondary strut. Uh, a little thermal effects on it right here, Neil. Yeah, I, I noticed that. That the, seems to be the, the worst, although similar effects are on uh, all around. Well, is very, very fine powder, isn't it? Right in this area, I don't think there's much of any fine powder. Some clouds together, and it's hard to tell whether it's a quad or a rock. Notice how you can pick it out. Yeah, and it bounces and then. Big rock there now. 